yesterday's video got cut short had to go on a service call and then went on service call this morning so uh, it's late afternoon right now but trying to get as much done as I can bank still together go ahead and put the voltmeter on this see what it's sitting at 14.4 so I had it charging at 10 amps took about a day um, if I were to guess probably about 18 hours for the whole bank to charge up to 14.4 now I need to pull these bars off and drill them out so that I can bolt my terminals down to it so let's go ahead and do that bars tap the 3.8 as you can see my idea is to put a bolt through the bottom that way your lug can just sit on the stud and you'll have a nut hold it down what I can also do is I can actually bolt that from the bottom so I could double double stack my wires if I wanted to now that I've got that done we need to start working on wiring the alternators I've got a fuse block that's gonna go right next to the alternators to fuse the front to back runs Let's get to work on that. It's gonna be really tight, but I think I can get to work.
All right, guys, finally got the uh, alternators hooked up to the fuse block. I got my runs that go to the back hooked up to the fuse block as well. That's all I'm gonna do today. Tomorrow I'll work on zip tying and securing the wire to the frame, run it to the back, and then I'll work on making the case for the lithium battery and we'll mount the amp rack and then get the amps mounted. Shouldn't be very much from here on out, just a lot of, lot of small stuff. So uh, like I said, that's it for today and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.